Hello everyone, this is Carly and welcome to another episode of Crafting with Class. In today's class, I'm going to show you how I put together the Anna Griffin Pop-Up Bouquets Kit. So I will show you my tips and tricks and what I found helpful and useful in putting these together. And I will share all 18 cards because yes, I actually put all of the cards together for once. Yay! All right, so let's take a look at what comes in this kit. Now I'm going to do a quick unboxing. This is the first time I look at this as well. So I know that usually that sheet comes there with the code. So I'm going to be a little bit careful to make sure that um, I just show you the sheet. So you get inspiration. You also get the directions of how to assemble it per Anna. And then you get all the contents that you need to create 18 cards. So you get the card bases and so these you get three of each design you get six different designs for the 18 cards and all of them have a coordinating muted inside that is lovely so you get all kinds of flowers like these beautiful purple irises and i think this is like a peony which i love and then you have daffodils and i think that's a tulip so those are lovely. And then you get your six by six envelopes. You get your all occasion sentiments. You get, these are 3D stickers. So you get rectangles and little banners and circles, your signature cards, your mechanism that goes inside that coordinate with your cards. And then you get punch out sheets of all the embellishments, the floral embellishments, as well as the little butterflies. And so what you do is you take your card, you look for the matching flower, and then you're going to take one of the sheets, and then that is how you're going to match it up. Now these come with four sheets of coordinating flowers. All four sheets are the same. You get one per card, but then the fourth one is for you to add to any of the cards on the inside or on the outside of your card, which is awesome. You also get, I believe, four or five sheets of these flourishes, gold flourishes. All right, so let's put it together. So you're going to choose a card base and then the coordinating inner mechanism and they match by the corners and then the coordinating uh, die cuts. So all you need to do is punch these out and they're super easy to punch out. I was really happy about that because I'm very picky and I usually don't like these punch out type of things because they usually leave like little bits on them and that's just way beyond my type A personality. But these punched out really easily. Now you are going to need to poke out some of the inside little pieces but that's really easy to do. I'm doing it from the back. I know this looks like it might be dangerous, but I'm actually, I'm doing it from the back because from the front, I could not see where they were. So this way I just punched them out from the back because I can see from the back where they're at. And then, you know, of course you want to keep your fingers away from that pokey part. All right. So now you have your flowers ready. You have little butterflies with each one as well. And now to work on the mechanism. So the big one that has like two tabs is the one that's going to go at the top. So what I found the most useful with, with this is to really take your time and be very gentle. So you want to just coax those folds. And this may take a little bit of patience, but after a while I found kind of like a groove and I ended up just doing all the mechanisms at one time because I just found it really kind of easy to do after, you know, doing a couple of them. So you're going to move your way down to the middle one and then the little one at the bottom. So once you kind of have those middle sections folded, then you want to go ahead and reinforce the sides that are on the card base itself or the panel. And so you uh, want to take and then just fold it over. Now notice I didn't even fuss with the middle score line. It will literally find itself. You don't even have to worry about it. As long as you get all those mechanism pieces right, the actual fold will find itself. At least that's how I found it to be. 
So one thing about this card type, because it's a pop-up, it's important that you really burnish those creases, really burnish those folds. So I went ahead and went inside and then really pressed down with my Teflon bone folder to get those really crisp. I find that when they're really crisp and folded, they pop out better. So you want to make sure that the big one is at the top. Now I'm going to go ahead and use some wet ad adhesive because um, when in any time of any time there's like an interactive element, I like using wet glue so that I can make adjustments. Um, Anna suggested tape, but I'm gonna be a rebel and just use my glue. So I want to make sure that that big chunk is at the top. I'm gonna place one side there. I'm gonna arrange it, make sure that it's even. I'm going to insert my bone folder just to press that into the crease and then I'm going to press on the other side. So once I see that everything looks good and everything is aligned, I'm going to press it a little bit harder and there it is. So you have four places where you're going to attach your moving elements. You are you have three main elements and then two little butterflies for every single design. Now. I started with putting the bigger piece because this piece is the one that moves the most. So I, again, I'm departing from Anna's instructions, but you can go ahead and do it however you feel makes sense to me. But after doing several of these, I just found that it made more sense for me to start with the bigger piece because number one, it moves the most. Number two, it's going to take the most realty. Um, and you know so i want to make sure that that has all the room so i went ahead and put in that big piece made sure that it moves and it's not sticking out and then i want to put in my next largest piece so i started with bigger to smaller again i'm only putting a little bit of glue on the end on the very tip of that little mechanism part and then i adjust it as needed once I liked where it was and I would press down a little harder and make, you know, to make sure that the glue sets. But I found this kind of worked. Also, um, I needed to modify these sometimes. So if they were a little bit too long, I would cut them. So don't be afraid to modify these pieces and make them work for however you want them to fit in the card. I know sometimes it's kind of like, oh, I don't want to cut these. But I found that for some of them, really cutting them down allowed me to make it fit better or to make it more like full all right so i like how all those lay out so now i'm going to add a flourish and i really wish i would have popped this up but um you definitely have room to pop you know to add a little dimension and so i'm going to add this really pretty flourish to that left side so it kind of looks like it's sweeping from the left to the right. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more foliage. And I like these rose petals um, because it kind of matches with some of the uh, foliage in there. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of glue and then I'm going to pop up the top. So it'll give it a little bit of dimension, but it will still be anchored to the card with glue. So I'm going to go ahead and decide where I like that best. And then I'm going to attach it to my card. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and make sure everything sits where it should be so that the card closes and opens seamlessly. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and add a little butterfly to that corner. So just to fill up that little bit of space, I'm gonna attach it with some foam adhesive and pop it up right there. So every single time you add something, you wanna check and make sure that it's not sticking out from the card. All right, so here are all 18 cards. Are you ready to see them? So I will show you um, each of the cards and so you can see how similar or how different they all look all right so starting with this set so for these I popped up the little butterfly on the top 
And then for one of the card panels, I actually used it to, to pop up from the front, if that makes any sense. I think it's, I forgot what it's called, decoupage. So anywho, that's what I did just to pop it up even more. So let's look at the first card. So when you open it, you have that beautiful, foof, just pop of flowers and then a little tag um, or sentiment strip. I used another one here at the bottom so it fills in that little mechanism that was um, there so now you can't see it and then this is a retirement card so I had the, I added the sentiment to the bottom there okay so for these I did the same thing so I added a little pop-up butterfly to some of them and here's the first one. Oh, I just love it so pretty and it pops right up and I love it. I love that it pops really high. And so as you can see, this one has a happy birthday to you sentiment at the bottom that also moves along with the card. So just have fun and play and see what looks good with this. And so here's this one that just pops up. I love that way that it just flows so pretty. Okay, here's the next one of that purple iris. So for this one, I did pop up the little butterflies again. And then um, I added a little bit of a pop-up on the front. Okay, so here's a happy birthday at the bottom. So I love how these move. I really, really do. They're so fun. And then here's the next one. And this is like a spray of irises, right? So, so pretty. And then here's the next one. And I love that, that swirl. And I like how the uh, sentiment panel is kind of like in a diamond. I thought it looked really cool that way. All right, here's the next one. So these three cards. So again, popped up those little butterflies to make them dimensional. I added two on this card. And then this one is like that decoupage again. So hopefully you can see how that's layered up on foam dimensionals on top. All right, so let's take a look at the first card of this set and wow, look at all those flowers. So really, you can put as many or as few as you want to. Um, I think, you know, having that extra sheet definitely gives you that option. And with some of these, the flowers are bigger. So you really, you know, can make such a big impact just because the flowers are bigger. Now this one I added a heartfelt thank sentiment at the bottom as well. And yeah, these are lovely, just so pretty. Okay, here's the next set of three. So these are the daffodils and again, popped up the little butterflies. This one I did the decoupage again and then the little butterfly and I added a sentiment for those. So here is the inside of this one. Now for the ones that don't have a sentiment, I'm going to add something later on when I'm going to, when I use the card. So that's why you see most of them without any sentiments, because I will be adding those as the occasions come up. Now this one I am sending out, so I added a happy birthday on the front and celebrate on the inside. And I cut it up so that the sentiment would like dance <laughs> when you open and close the card. So that was fun. All right, this is the last one. And so again, popped up the little butterfly. And then here is this pop-up. So pretty. Boom. I just love it. And then here's the next one. And I actually cut one of the tulips and put it toward the left there. And then here's the next one. I love how these pop out just like that. So these are all the cards. I'm so happy that I was able to make the entire kit for once. And so now they'll be ready for whatever occasion. I can just pull one out and add my sentiment and have it ready to go, which is awesome. Um, I do want to also mention that the envelopes that come with this are six by six, and these are five and a half inch square cards so you have a little bit of room just in case something goes outside of the card a little bit no worries you don't need to trim it it'll be just fine 
So I do like this kit. I thought in two crafternoons, I was able to put it all together. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this tutorial was helpful. And as always, thank you for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. I will see you next time. Bye.